Gary Porter here again. Uh, gonna tell you about my schematic a little bit. I've changed the changed it into a dual system. Uh, now we've got the L2 coil, and this is all the original stuff out here: the battery, the inverter, the variac, and spark gap cap. This is tuned in the primary, and then I got the 100 uh, microfarad coil here, and the positive energy goes into this uh, 2 microfarad cap and then negative energy goes into this two microfarad cap. These four boxes are switches uh, to be determined. I'm looking into IGBTs and more spark apps and whatever to dump. I need a high-speed switch here and here to fill these uh, uh, microfarad electrolytic caps up and then this the energy from the positive side goes into a motor and uh, the negative back EMF is going to be collected and passed to the other side of the dual system. When the negative goes into the motor, the positive back EMF is reflected back to the, uh, the positive side of the system. Uh, the motor itself has uh, dual coils for each coil set. Uh, one coil is to receive the power. The second coil through transformer action uh, duplicates the energy that's put into the power coil that's brought back into the system either back to the battery in the beginning uh, from uh, through uh, transformer action or whatever and uh, that's that. Uh, coil shorting uh, from Doug Conzen is also going to be applied in this area and energy from that will also be used to feed back into each half of the output system and uh, by doing that you can actually eliminate a lot of the load uh, that would be placed on the primary side over here from the battery and uh, by using proper feedback you can actually ensure the battery stays charged while this thing is running through a simple little 2 amp generator on the motor or whatever. The motor itself, the basic design is going to be uh, 18-inch rotor with 2-inch neo magnets uh, glued into it. Uh, there's 12 of those, and uh, or, or six, or three, or whatever I want. And uh, the stator coils will be on the outside, all the way around, and, uh, and that's it. So that's where we're headed. And uh, the system can not only run a motor, but it's going to also run a vibrating system to produce household electricity. Anyway, that's my goal. Have a great day. Thanks.